Well, hello again. It's Brother Peter with Tidbits from the World. We're going to continue on with this series, and we will be in number 12 of uh, the Tidbits from the Word. And these little excerpts are 10 minutes, 9 minutes, and 59 seconds. And they're just uh, pretty much Bible. I kind of got off and rattled on a few minutes in that last one. I'm going to try to get back in the book now. And the, the first recorded remorse that Cain had, remorse is when you're sorry for your sin, but you didn't do anything right about it. So the remorse that he, Cain had here was when God told him, he said, I'm going to banish you over to the land of Nod, and you're going to be a vagabond in the earth. You're going to have to go around begging, because I'm not going to let the earth where you plow anymore, the earth's not going to yield anything for you. You can dig and hoe and roll, do whatever you want, but the earth, wherever you are, is not going to yield for you. So God set a mark on him and said that if anybody killed him, they would be uh, avenged ten times for doing it. And he banished him to the land of Nod, and I love the fact it said here, the east of Eden, the east of Eden. <coughs> How far from the east? There was a land of Nod, the east of Eden. You know something? He was banished to a good land, but he was going to be a castaway. And the east of Eden had to be a good land. And, but he was going to be a castaway, a walking through that land. And he was going to be under reproach all the time of his life. And he said, the burden is too big for me to uh, carry it said here though in verse 17, Cain knew his wife, she conceived, and bare in it. And he built a city and called the name of that city after the name of his son Enoch. Now, neither one of these Enochs were the Enoch that was seventh down after, after in the lineage of Adam. This is the third lineage. This is the third lineage from Adam. So that means that uh, uh, Cain married his uh, sister's great-granddaughter, a uh, great-great-granddaughter, three, three lineages down. So he married three lineages down, and after this it was not so. After Cain started that group, and then the sons of men, that's the sons uh, of God, excuse me, uh, came and laid with the daughters of men. That was fallen angels, just like the devil took on, had a voice in the garden. And years gone by, the devil has taken on the form of a man. You notice he took on the form of Judas when he came uh, in the uh, disciples. And then uh, uh, he took on the form of a man the devil did, and actually pro procreated with the daughters of men and spoiled the seed of God. And the seed was corrupt, and the people were corrupt, and the whole land was corrupt. And that, that was when the first Anakins came on the, uh, the earth, the Edomites, and they were the giants of the land, and they were the people that uh, were rebellious against God, and they came on the land. And by the way, this was before before the days of the flood, these people were also. And after the flood, that means that one of those boys' wives on the, on the ark had had to have in her a seed of a giantess. And when she reprocreated, she brought on the other side of the flood, she brought the giants back. Because we see the children of Israel after passing through 300 years of Egypt, crossing the Red Sea, coming to the land of Canaan, that they come against again the Anakites, the giants. That's after the flood. So we must get ourselves right through the ages. Now we're in Alluvian age. We're talking about here reading in Genesis. That's before the flood. And so... Uh, that's uh, the age before the flood. Now, here we are uh, 
Enoch was born, and Irad, and Irad begat uh, Majo, and Majo begat Methuselah, and Methuselah begat Lamech, and Lamech took unto himself two wives, and the name of one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zella. And Ada, bad Jabel, he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. Now these were the first nomads. Now you remember, after the uh, exit from uh, uh, Egypt, the children of Israel at the exit from Egypt lived again. Again, they tabernacled in tents. They tabernacled in tents. Up until the children of Israel went into the land after they were delivered, they lived in houses. Now houses were designed and started in the city of uh, that, that Cain had made. Enoch was started the first city. And as he started that city, people lived and dwelt in that city at the name of his son Enoch and Lamech. And then the uh, first musical instruments show up here in verse 21. Now we're looking at first the time, the Bible. You want to study the Bible? Let me show you how to study the Bible. You go back to the first time something was mentioned. You want to study the Bible? Go back to the first time it was mentioned. Now look, verse right here, 21. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and the organ. He was the one that handled the harp and the organ. Now, these are the first instruments on earth. If we'll go back and capture right here and find out about Lucifer, read something about him, we'll find out he was a musician in heaven too. So there was music in heaven. By the way, there were instruments in heaven. What is a harp? What is a harp? What is a horn? What is a horn? There was instrument. What is a timbrel? There was music instruments in heaven. The, the the devil was the angel up there, and there were instruments. You say, well, you're crazy as a bed bug, brother Peter. Well, get in the book. Get in the book. Get in the book. Verse 22, and Zella, she also bore Tubal, Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal, Cain, was Naamah. Now, God is showing us that he has a people on this earth that have talents Different people have different talents, different abilities. I always said this, you're either born a cook or you're not a cook. There are people you can't teach to cook. I've been a painter for 40 years or so. There are many millions of people on this earth you can't train to be a painter. I think you're born to be a painter or you're not born to be a painter. There are people I've seen paint 40 years and they still can't paint. So, yeah, uh, and then Lamech said to his wives. Here's the first guy, by the way, that took two wives. His name is Lamech. He took two wives. This is the first, what do you call it, when you have more than one, multiple wives. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man of my wounded and my young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventyfold, and seventyfold, uh, seventyfold and sevenfold, seven times seven, four hundred and ninety times. By the way, that is a phrase Jesus used in the New Testament. He said, forgive your brother seventy times seven, which is four hundred and ninety times. And then Jesus said this, listen, in one day. <laughs> Have you ever had a brother that aggravated you 490 times in one day if you was around him? Wow, that's as bad as me and my son. I aggravate him 490 times every day when I'm around him. Uh, back when I taught him how to paint, and now I'm in the way because of my age. I'm, I'm kind of forgot what I was supposed to know and forget what door he told me to paint what color. 